Hey guys, so welcome to my new kitchen. I just got back from the beach and I am going to make some homemade yogurt and I wanted to show you guys how to make it because it is a little time consuming but it's fairly easy so bear with me as this is a two day process because we're going to heat up the milk till it gets to about 175 to 180, bring it down to about 110 to 115 add our starter yogurt, mix, then we're going to incubate it, and then tomorrow we will have yogurt. Six to eight hours. I do it overnight, so let's get started. You want to start your oven on a medium to medium high heat, and I'm just using plain fat-free milk, and just pour it in. Now, you can use as much or as little milk as you want. I'm using an entire gallon because it's going to yield a little over a quart of Greek yogurt. I am using this handy dandy thermometer that I purchased from Bed Bath & Beyond to get the reading of the milk. So remember I said we're trying to get it between 175 and 180. So. It's pretty much there right now, so I just turned off my oven because it's 147.8 and it's just going a little bit higher, but I turned off my oven, so now we're just going to let it rest until it gets to about 110 to 115 and add our soda yogurt. Okay, so now the temperature has gone to that 110 to 115 stage I was telling you about. So at this point, we can go ahead and add our starter. Um, it's, see it's like 115, you guys see that? 115 Fahrenheit. All right, so now I am going to add my starter. So I use like a whole gallon of milk. I'm actually gonna use this whole container of Greek yogurt. You don't have to use Greek yogurt, you can just use regular yogurt if you want to, but um, they didn't have, at Trader Joe's, they didn't have plain regular yogurt. They only, in a single serving container, they just had this one. So anyways, I didn't feel like going to another store. I added my starter yogurt, and at this point you just want to make sure that you stir it in really, really well. It should just kind of fall apart and melt, but this is going to take maybe like a minute or two of you just whisking it in. Okay, it's all stirred in. So since I don't have a lid for this specific pot, I'm actually going to um, put aluminum foil over it and then cover it with a towel and put it in my oven. If you guys can see, I have a towel in my oven and I'm just gonna cover it up and it will stay there overnight. And at this point I can close my oven and uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hey, it's the following day, so let's see what is going on with our yogurt. I just took the yogurt out of the oven, so let's see what it looks like. Ta-da! So you see the weight on top, and the yogurt is all throughout. And now I'm going to show you guys how I strain it and turn it into Greek yogurt. So right now I have this whole pot is just regular plain yogurt. So what I have here is my pot of yogurt and then another empty pot and then a strainer and then a cheesecloth of some sort that I think I got online or at Whole Foods or something. I use this a lot. So, um... So then you just put this over here, and what's going to happen is I'm going to pour this plain yogurt in this bowl, and it's going to strain. And the reason why I have this here is so it can catch the whey, like the extra liquid, and I'm just going to dump that whey out. And then what we're going to end up having here is um, the Greek yogurt. And that takes about... Um, six to eight hours i mean you can get it as thick as you want to so bear with me as i pour that in and then i will show you guys what it looks like at this point i had poured the yogurt in here 
and like I said my pot will catch the extra whey and I will dump this and at this point this will go in my fridge and I will see you guys in a couple hours and at this point what I like to do is kind of stir it together because the really thick yogurt is on the bottom and we still have a little bit more on the sides that are really thick too and there's still a lot of whey in the top yogurt so right now I'm just stirring it and getting it all together it's been roughly um, five four four hours since I put it in here so I would say another four to six hours if not longer um, before we actually have Greek yogurt I mean, it's it's thick thicker than obviously it used to be at this point, but I want it thicker. I also want to show you guys how much whey has strained from this point. So if I lift this container up, I'm going to show you guys the whey. So that's a decent amount of whey that's in there right now. So I'm going to dump this out and then just put it back in and we're good to go. At this point, my yogurt is complete, and I'm actually just going to put it in this empty um, yogurt container. So if you guys want to look how thick it is right now, I've emptied the pot twice, and I will show you how much this yields. So I wanted to recap the process of the yogurt making. We put the milk in the pot and then we brought it up to between 175 and 180 and then we dropped it to between 110 and 115 and then we added our starter yogurt. Now if you add your starter yogurt too early, say you add it at like 140 or 150, you're going to kill the probiotics and live cultures and your yogurt will never set and your milk the milk will never cultivate into the actual yogurt. So you have to actually let it drop to, like I said, between 110 and 115, add your starter yogurt and then incubate it and then boom, you have yogurt. Now, you don't have to add a container of yogurt like I did. I specifically did that just to show you guys how much kind of yogurt you need for how much of a yogurt you're making. You can use some of your yogurt that you've made in the past to recreate more yogurt in your future. Now, whatever yogurt you're making. So if it's full fat or if it's fat free or if it's super scent, you choose, you be your own creator. And then at that point, when you have your yogurt all set, then you can go ahead and flavor it however you want. You want coconut yogurt, you add some coconut extract, some stevia, whatever kind of sweetener you want to use, and boom. You want chocolate, you add some cocoa powder, you add whatever kind of sweetener you use. You want strawberries in there, you want granola in there, you make your own parfaits. The possibilities are endless.